David Caffrey left the Queensland Police Service in 2014, but he's been at the centre of a court case that will now set a legal precedent to assist every emergency service worker. The former senior constable became deeply traumatised after attending a fatal accident at Biwa in 2013. He later initiated a claim against the driver's third party insurance company for psychological injury. Because a win for me was going to be a win for all emergency service workers, not just police officers, you know, and anybody that potentially could be affected by that sort of thing, you know, by dealing with just horrendous trauma. It's the first time a case like this was lodged with the Supreme Court. It was different in that uh, David wasn't involved in the accident, but he was a first responder to the accident. And it was also different in, in that the insurer didn't want to engage with us at all. Uh, they had a firm view that police officers are not owed a duty of care in these circumstances. So our only option was to proceed through the court system. While Shaka's lawyers acted on a no win, no fee agreement, there was still significant risk. I was fortunate that I had a lawyer in Ryan Heath and Shaka's uh, who were prepared to back me. Ryan said, we will support you 100%, okay, regardless of what happens. But of course, I would have had to have sold my house because a loss for me would have meant the loss of my family home, you know? And, and Ian Leavers and the Queensland Police Union assured me that that wasn't going to happen. I can't really thank the Queensland Police Union enough, pure and simply, because I don't think I'd have done it without them. I couldn't have done it without them, because there was too much to lose. After a trial, the court ruled in David's favour and awarded him just over $1 million in damages plus legal costs. In December, the Court of Appeal again agreed the compensation was justified and rejected the insurance company's challenge to the decision. The best thing I can, I can say is that if you've, if you've got any doubt whatsoever as a police officer about whether you should be in the Queensland Police Union or not, OK, don't have any doubt. QPU President Ian Leavers says the case was important to confirm police are owed the same duty of care by a negligent driver as any other member of the community. This is an important matter for all police, and that is why we as the police union have fully funded it and underwritten it every step of the way. A precedent for duty of care is now set that will cover all Queensland police and emergency service personnel who attend highly traumatic road smashes. It, it nearly broke me, the whole process, but at least now there's no, there's no ambiguity. It's written in law and it can't be argued anymore. So if somebody does end up in the same situation as I do, as extreme as it was, at least they know that they can find some recourse and they can have a little bit of a future, you know. The decision is unlikely to open the way for multiple claims, but QPU members are encouraged to discuss any post-traumatic concerns with their branch officials and the specialist team at Shaka's Lawyers. David believes he now has a bright future with security to obtain the medical help he needs. However, he says he never felt intimidated in the court process because he had the support of the union's 12,000 strong membership. Because they weren't just doing it for me. They were doing it for, for all our members, all the Queensland Police Union members. What has confronted Dave should never happen to any police officer. And as a member of the Queensland Police Union, we will always ensure that a member receives full access to both work cover and to legal avenues to ensure they receive the full protection that they are owed by their employer. As part of the Our People Matter strategy, any police service member can call the QPU team for a confidential discussion and assistance 24 hours a day on 3259 1900.